suppose I've run a linear regression in Stata with total cholesterol as the outcome, and I want to plot the average total cholesterol as a function of age using my linear regression model with a 95% confidence interval for the predicted mean of total cholesterol. To do this in Stata, I first want to go ahead and create a variable that contains predictions of, to of mean total cholesterol using the uh, variables in my data set. So I would run predict. I'm going to call the variable y hat, comma, and then the, what I want Stata to predict is the predicted means. And the way to tell Stata that is through comma xb. So now in my variables window, I see that I have a variable y hat that contains linear predictions from my regression model using the values of age from the Framingham data set. Next, I need to predict the standard errors of these uh, predicted means. I'm going to call this variable SEY hat, and the option that I use to get the standard errors of the predicted means is STDP. Now I need to get a confidence interval, which relies on a cutoff of the T distribution. In this model, I have 861 degrees of freedom, so the way that I could get the lower bound for the confidence interval is to gen generate a lower bound equal to y hat minus, and then this is where I need to use the cutoff of the t distribution. I use the inverse t command with 861 degrees of freedom, and I want the 1 minus alpha over 2 level of this. So if it's a 95% confidence interval, I'm always going to plug in here 0.975 times the standard error. I do the same thing to get an upper bound renaming my variable upper B for upper bound. I want to go ahead and sort my centered age variable, and now I can go ahead and make a plot of the predicted means along with um, the confidence interval. So I create a new plot. I'm going to do a line plot with my Y variable being Y hat and the X variable being age centered, HC. To get my confidence intervals, my y variable is now going to be lower b, the lower bound, and the x variable is still hc. You might want to change the line properties here, and instead of doing a solid line, do a dashed line. And repeat this for the upper bound. So making this plot, I see that there's a relatively quadratic relationship between age and um, average total cholesterol at exam two, and I get pretty tight confidence intervals around this predicted mean. Again, if I wanted to understand the variability in the predicted mean relative to where the actual data lie, I could just add in points for the observed data through the scatter command. I could also just make a new graph within the two-way graphs menu. And again, the line is a little bit hard to see here, but you see that relative to the total variability in age, you're getting a relatively tight prediction.